Uh, big news. Big news. This is a follow up from a couple weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago. I covered this story about the three um, Aurora activists that were charged with kidnapping police officers because they organized a protest outside the precinct. Right. So ba the basic recap of it is um, Elijah McClain uh, gets murdered by the police. Right. Innocent black kid walking home, uh, skinny, awkward, introverted, uh, possibly autistic. I can't remember if people said that he was or wasn't diagnosed uh, or, or maybe that was just something people were insinuating. I'm not sure. Uh, but he was definitely anxious. He definitely had anxiety. He he said that he had anxiety. He was an introvert. He said that he was an introvert. The cops pinned him down, um, and I think they put f filled him up with horse tranquilizer, uh, and he was brain dead in the hospital. And then he passed away. So the cops killed him, right? These Aurora police officers killed him. It's all on video, and uh, so there were these massive protests. A lot of them were broken up violently by the police, right? There there was like a vigil where people were playing a violin in a park and the police came in like stormtroopers and fucking, or the SS, right? And they fucking, they were like, no art! Art will not be tolerated in this world. Not a world that us cops want to live in. And they fucking tore through that. So following that, there were a couple organizers that basically like organized a sit-in or an occupation of of like the front porch of the precinct. I, I, don't, I don't really know what to call it, but they weren't like blocking doors or anything like that. They were just merely sitting, chanting, and, and you know, doing the speeches. What you see at most protests, right? And the cops were like, we were so scared and we didn't, we couldn't leave the building because we would have to face the reality of who we actually are as people, which is fucking murderers, murderers for profit and murderers for property, um, racist fucking killers. That's that's what the cops in Aurora are. Uh, and I, I can't sugarcoat that any anymore. Like there's there's no sugarcoating to that. Uh, so, you know, if you're one of those liberals that are like, well, not all cops are bad. Yes, all cops are bastards because the good cops that when they try to do the right thing, they usually get eaten either either get eaten up by the force or they get kicked out so they're no longer cops. So uh, there you go. All all that remains uh, is the rot. The only thing that remains is the rot. You, you know. So, uh, so there there were three protesters. The or the three organizers: uh, Lillian House, Eliza Lucero, and Joel Northam. Uh, they were arrested and they were uh, I think they were they were facing like 48 years in prison for a bunch of misdemeanors and, quote, felony offenses, all all standard fucking anti protest bills. But on top of that, they were charged with kidnapping the police officers, kidnapping 18 police officers. And the only, the only reality of that is that the cops were just uncomfortable to leave because they didn't want to be called fucking murderers, which they were. Uh, so. The Aurora PD basically like claimed that they were too scared to go out, which is like just a false accusation. It's a violation of uh uh like it, it's a violation of these protesters' rights to say that th that uh, if, if you protest in front of a precinct, which is completely legal, that it's an attempted kidnapping. It's a false accusation because they were just. The cops just didn't want to leave because they felt ooky about it. And thirdly, like, how fucking sad and pathetic is it that the big, tough, right rage macho cops can't walk past the bunch of chanters and people that made signs on cardboard? Like, that's what they were scared of. And if that's the case, should these people still be policing? The answer to that question is, no, they should not. <laughs> These people are clearly not fit to protect and serve the people. They are clearly fit to protect and serve the interests of the rich and the oligarchs. That's what they are definitely uh, fit to do. And, I mean, nobody cries about uh, respect and, and equality more than fucking oligarchs, right? Like, look at the way that, that Bezos treats his employees and... Apple employees are treated like all of this shit, like CEOs and billionaires are some of the bitchiest people 
on the planet, right? They're just like, they're asking for fair pay and health care. I have, like, what am I supposed to do? Not have a personal ball waxer? I mean, what am I supposed to wax my own balls? I mean, how is that even? Or, or go down to a ball wax facility? I don't even know if they have such things. I can't give that up. I'm, I'm too used to smoothness in my nether regions. They're the bitchiest people I've ever seen in my life. All for like, <laughs> all for things that we should all like for basic needs, right? And then they're like, they're asking for the moon. They're asking for health care, <laughs> right? Like, this is the same thing. It's like, I, I have to face the fact that I'm a, 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 a mean, bad murderer that killed an innocent child over my racist predilections. I, what? That's so ridiculous. I feel kidnapped. I'm triggered. <laughs> like, that's what these cops are, which makes sense because they protect, you know. It's trickle down bitchiness is what it is. That's that's really what it is. That's how trickle down works. So fortunately, a judge, um, you know, in the I think it's a pretrial is what it's called, dropped those charges. He, ba he basically said that this is ridiculous. Uh, none of these charges make any sense. So we're going to drop these charges, which takes uh, decreases their sentence by 12 to 4, 24 years. Um, so they're still facing like 36 years of prison time, uh, which is ridiculous. Because all three of the lawyers, like each of the activists have to have their own lawyer. And all three of those lawyers called out how absurd all of the. Uh, charges against them are. Uh, and then they also called out the DA who's trying to dismiss and drop the charges, drop the merger charges, so that we can sweep this under the rug from the cops that murdered Elijah McClain. And then he's doubling down by saying that the protesters did something illegal, uh, that the felony charges and the misdemeanor charges. And by the way, again, classic, uh, this is very classic, because there's been anti-protest laws for a long time. Um, so they might be using one of the boilerplate ALEC laws uh, to put these people in prison, right? That might be one of the things that they use. And those boilerplate ALEC laws are basically, uh, if you go against any sort of critical infrastructure and to the oligarchs and people in power, uh, the, po the police station might be a critical infrastructure, right? And by protesting in front of it, period, um, I mean, we're, we're, we're not even talking them trying to bust into the... They were literally standing outside in the lawn, right? Not blocking any doors or anything like that. They weren't, like, being a fire hazard or anything. He's claiming that, you know, they, they're they they're violating critical infrastructure. That's one of the things that they can do. I mean, but, but there's anti-protest laws all across the country uh, backed by a, a, a piece of boilerplate legislation... Uh, that was written and funded by the Koch brothers. So there you go. Um, so he's still doubling down. The lawyers are calling uh, this out. So they're not completely off the hook, but the most ridiculous of all charges has been dropped, which means that the rest of the charges, it's going to be a lot easier for them to uh, to, 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 to be uh, sentenced as innocent. Um, you know, so... Hopefully that happens. We'll have to we'll have to keep an eye on on this case as well. Uh, so uh, that's that's what we'll do. The as I as I get updates, I will keep you guys abreast on the issues here. Uh, Holly's asking, were they frightened by the protesters? That's at least what the cops were claiming. That the protesters were scary with their signs and their chants and their speeches. They were so scary that the that the dudes, the roid raged dudes with guns, were terrified of their signs. Uh, maybe because they 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 were words, and the cops weren't literate enough to read the words. And uh, it was it was such a foreign concept to them that they they were like, "Oh, what is is this a spell? Are they casting a spell? Uh, you know, who knows?" Uh, but that's the update there. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, 
or Facebook, especially Facebook and YouTube. They often uncensor people, uh, un unsubscribe people, and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows, the Forkful of Noodles live virtual comedy shows. Uh, the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website. But if you're also on financial stable ground, you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. And go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H -H -A, and I hope to see you at the next video.